Hey guys, this is JB with Marketing 360. In this screencast, I'm going to walk you through our Banner Builder tool, which is an easy-to-use drag-and-drop design software. It's completely browser-based, so you can just go to bannerbuilder.marketing360.com to launch the tool. It's 100% free. You can use it to design images for your brand for social media or your website or anything you need to design an image for. You can use this tool. It's uh, very easy to use, and let me just kind of walk you through an impromptu to design here right uh, while you're with me so you can kind of see how I use the tool and how you might be able to use the tool as well to design images for your brand. So let's take a look at it. So again, go to bannerbuilder.marketing360.com to launch the tool. You'll have a, a banner that opens up as default for you. You can, of course, customize however you want from there. You'll use these tools on the left-hand side to customize the image. When it's ready to go over here, you can just download the image straight away. You can also import or export the template if you want to use it later as a starting point, which is pretty cool. But let's talk about how the tool works. So if I start over here on the left-hand side, this drop-down menu up top left is to select the image size. And so basically this is pretty cool because it pulls in all the different default image sizes based on the social platform. Like a typical blog image size here, you have Facebook images, Twitter, Google+, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, YouTube, Tumblr, and Snapchat. It uh, basically pulls in all the different various default image sizes for those platforms to give you a nice starting point to work with. You can also use these general sizes here. These are all pretty good on Facebook, like the 1080 by 566 is a good landscape sized image. 1080 by 1080 is a large square image, and then 1080 by 1350 is more of a vertical based um, portrait style image. I'm using the custom feature right now, and I'm going 1080 by 950, which is the image size that I want to build for currently. Now, if you wanted to zoom in and out on the image, maybe it doesn't quite fit on your canvas, you can use the zoom in and out feature right here just so you can see what you're working with. It also has this 20% grid feature, which is really cool because this helps you make sure you stay within the 20% text rule that Facebook has. When you're doing Facebook ads, if you've ever done Facebook ads before, you know that Facebook won't allow you to run your ad if your text exceeds 20% of the image. So this grid's pretty cool because you can check that off and it tells you right here that the text and the logo must fit within five boxes. Basically, in this example, I have my logo here. This is one box, two boxes. Then my tagline is one, two, three, and the text in my button also fits within this box. So this is one, two, three, four, five boxes. So this would be good. Facebook would approve this ad and I'd be able to run it. Just make sure to uncheck that grid before you download your image over here because otherwise it's going to have those grid lines on it. Okay, so let's talk about how we can customize this image. So the first thing I did was I created this draggable box, which you see right here. So I created this box and I drag and dropped it right here to make it my button. I made the box basically a solid orange color. If I wanted to change the color, I could just click here and change it to blue, for example. But I like the way that that orange looks, so I go, to go ahead and select that back. These buttons here would allow me to center it on the canvas. So in this case, I want to center it horizontally. So if I click there, see how it's centered? If I move this over here, I'll show you again. It'll be a little more drastic. There it goes, centered. So it's perfect. Move this text over a little bit like that. So there's that button there. If you wanted to change the transparency of the button, you could use this drag and drop feature right here, make it real faint, or you could drag it all the way to the right and make it very solid. I'm actually going to have that a little bit transparent so that the coloring fits nicely with the background image. Right here you can adjust the sizing. You can use these arrow keys or you could just go ahead and type in a size. For example, if I wanted 300 pixels wide, it'd be that wide. I like the way it looks. 250 fits nicely around the text. I'm going to leave that. This adjusts the height, so you can make the button taller and fatter, basically, or you could leave it thinner the way that I had it. Here allows you to add a shadow to your button. I've added a 20 pixel shadow, which you can barely see there, and I have it kind of this gray color. It'll stand out more if I make this more dark. See how that kind of really pops out now? I don't like it that bright. I'm going to move this back towards that color so it's just a faint little shadow. And then down here, if you wanted to add a borderline to your button, you could do that. I don't have that turned on here, but if you wanted to turn this on to, say, a 5 pixel line border or a 2 pixel line border, you could do that. 
you could then select the color. Maybe you want that like kind of like a darker orange. You could add that effect in there. Um, so you can kind of get an understanding of how that piece works. If I leave this thick uh, so you can see this a little better and make this a little darker, you'll see that you can also add like a dashed line here or a dotted line around the button. In this case though, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave the border off because I like the way it looks without it. So that's how the draggable box works. And you can add as many as you want. If you decide you don't like it, you can click the trash can to delete it, or you can add another draggable box. So if I wanted to drag a box maybe around this text here, I could totally do that. Um, I could maybe move this down, you know, anywhere really behind the logo if I wanted, or if maybe kind of like that. Maybe I just leave like a border, you know, header up there. I could do that by making this adjustment here. Let's make this, let's see, let's make this 1080 so it fits all the way across, center it horizontally, and now we kind of have a nice little header on that image. See how that works? Or maybe in this case, I want to put that down here on the bottom. Let's do that. Let's put it down here. And then let's drag this logo down here in the corner. That looks kind of cool. So that's how you can use the draggable boxes. Draggable boxes are cool because you can add as many as you want. So all the different design elements that require that, you can totally jump in and take advantage of that. Remember, I can make this darker if I want to, lighter using this transparency. Lots of cool features that you can use here. I'm going to make that a little lighter. There we go. So that's the draggable boxes component. To adjust the background image, you can just basically click here to navigate to an image on your computer, or you can click the gallery image here. We have some pretty cool pre-built images in here that you can use as well. So let's see if there's one in here that might look cool. Maybe let's go with this. No, I don't know if I like that with the orange. Let's try that one, let's see what that looks like. So that's, that's kind of cool. Now, obviously, my text is gone now because I had white font. So if I come back down here to this text that I added and I change the text color, I can go ahead and change that. And let's make it like this. Maybe one of these darker blues like that. There we go. Yeah, okay. That's looking pretty cool. Maybe we want to make this actually see what black looks like. Obviously pops just a little bit more. Still not 100% sold on that though. Maybe make it a little more gray. Yeah, I kind of like how that looks. Now my button, the orange here is kind of clashing obviously with this background color. So now I could come back up here, see my button color right there. I can maybe drag it over or select one of these different colors. I think maybe that pinkish color is pretty cool. I'm gonna try to match that a little bit. Yeah, so there you go. So that's looking pretty sweet. So that's just one way that I can quickly go with a different background image into my banner and make something more abstract. So if I collapse that down, click this gallery image again, you can see that there's just a lot of different options for you to use in here. All abstract designs could work for just about anything. These are all free to use, so feel free to grab those and use them as you please. If I wanted to add an additional image to this, maybe like a product picture or something down here. You could totally do that. You would just simply click this plus button right here and you could add an additional image to this banner and drag and drop it, move it wherever you want it. So you can really get pretty complex. If this was like an e-commerce type of a store, I could even add like a product image here and another one here and another one here. Just by simply clicking this plus icon button right here, I could just keep adding images to this banner, which would be obviously pretty cool. So that's how the images work. The logo piece, which you're seeing right here, this Marketing 360 logo in this bottom corner, um, you can just add a logo by clicking this box right here and it will add a logo and you can then resize the logo if you need to using these little arrows right here. See how that makes the logo bigger and smaller. You can get it to where you want it and uh, basically place it perfectly into your banner. Now looking at this banner, this is a little high now, so I'm actually going to probably let's drag this down here some. Go back up here and get this text. Move this down just so it's just a little bit more centered. I like the way that looks. Now if you click on any element over here in the left hand panel, I can always remember center it here that way. This centers it vertically. I'm going to leave it a little bit high though the way we have it now. Collapse that down. 
this I think this button's a little bit off now so I'm gonna come back up here I'm gonna center that yep that did move a little bit move that over so you can see how this tool is like super easy to use you don't need any design software literally anybody can do this now if I wanted instead of a background image here if I wanted an actual pretty nice basically lifestyle or photography based image back here one tool that we recommend if you click over here let me just walk you through that and click here to edit this image actually cancel that let's go through the gallery if you come through the gallery here you'll notice there's some fine text down here and one of the sites we recommend is unsplash because it has just a ton of awesome royalty free pictures so if you click into that it'll take you over to unsplash.com and so if I wanted to change my image up, I could go through here and find a cool image. You can always use the search box too. So I'm, I'm just going to use, let's use mountain, mountain, see what they got for that. So mountains kind of fitting within what we were just talking about. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if there's one of these that we like. Um, I am going to go with, let's give this one a shot here. So just click the download button. You can see it downloads here to your computer. There it is. Boom. Saved. Close that. Come back over here. Close that. Now I'm going to click here to upload this new image. Go to my downloads folder here. Click it there. Click open. And it should add this image right into the banner builder for me here. Bam, there you go. And you can see you can drag and drop this image up here. If that image is too big, you can size it down right here and get it to where you like it. Let's move this, move this, kind of like this right there. So boom, now I have that. Now I'm going to click back here to change my text back because now this will probably look better back to white. Beautiful. And I'm also going to come up here and I'm going to change my button back to orange. I think that will look better now. Boom. So that's done. And now I'm feeling pretty good about this banner. So if I feel like I'm ready to go and I want to download this, you just simply click this download banner button right here. It downloads your banner image to your computer. You can just click it to preview, and there you go. There's your image. Now you can share that on social media. That's exactly how easy it is. You can put that in an email on your website, whatever you want. Now here's something that's really cool. If I want to edit this and use this later, maybe make some modifications, you can come up here and you can do export. If I click on export, that will save that template file. And now if I close this, let's just hit refresh here and kind of restart the tool. So now the tool's back to ground zero. I'm gonna click import now. I'm gonna to go to my downloads here. There it is, there's my template. I'm gonna click that and then bam, now it's back and it's easy to edit again. This is extremely powerful because you can create these templates and then streamline your processes and next time, maybe you just wanna come in here and just make a quick text change. So I'm gonna collapse these boxes here so they're out of our way. And I wanna come down here and I wanna change this to uh, basically grow your business I can change it boom I still like everything else I can hit download downloads my image and now grow your business done I just made the second banner in like two seconds so this is the power of the banner builder tool Obviously, I encourage you just to go to bannerbuilder.marketing360.com and just play with it, learn, test it out. If you have any questions, just give us a call. Let us know. Uh, leave a comment if you're seeing this on social media. If you have a question or a comment, leave a comment. Post some of your work in the comments. We'd love to see it. And also, just make sure to follow us for more tools like this in the future. We have other tools, if you scroll down, down here that are pretty cool, that are free as well for you to use. So check those out also. Hopefully you enjoy the banner builder. Thanks.